Extra Minutes. This is a, a gee whiz story about 3D technology. And it seems the imagination is the limit. You can print anything today on a 3D printer. You could print an aircraft carrier, in theory, if you wanted to. They're already printing cars, and they're printing noses and fingers and arms. Uh, and of course, the other one that worries the most getting the headlines is they're printing handguns. Anyone can have this gun now. This is something you can no longer stop by traditional mechanisms. You get the gun magically produced for you, right? With a, you know, with a click of a button. You can download a gun, print it on a 3D printer, and it will fire a bullet. I had no idea it was so easy. It, um, it of course, it prints upwardly, so it scans and prints this way till you get an object. Um, and it's uh, it really, we've seen it done with, with printers in America, or here, that can be bought for $800 to $1,000, a little more for more sophisticated. But it's possible to print um, parts for a fridge, parts for your washing machine, parts for your car. In theory, that's what you can do once someone designs it and puts it on the computer. So it is a, a brave new world. We can almost go anywhere with this. But it also means that a 10-year-old kid at home at a backyard printing office with mum and dad away for the day or a couple of days could actually print this. There's no control. You don't need a license um, to have a, a pistol or even you know, potentially a machine gun. So I guess um, that's that's not a brave new world, that's a crazy new world. Now nobody had really cared much about 3D printing until Wilson put his simple gun design on the internet. Then it grabbed headlines right around the world. Since then, the downloads have passed the million mark. Would you like to see a million guns around the world all printed on a 3D system? <laughs> no, no. I want people to recognise that this is possible and achievable and all the kind of implications that follow forth. But aren't you intellectualizing something that the simple matter is, you put your gun design on the internet, a child of 12 or 14 downloads it, prints it out on a family printer, yeah. takes it and shoots himself or shoots somebody? Yeah, yeah. Do you feel responsible? No, I don't feel responsible. This, this is the question in the end. Technologies allow us to do things, right? We can misuse these technologies. You wonder what effect it's going to have on the manufacturing industry generally, but um, people have got to go to the trouble of printing it out, of printing out, let's say apart from the fridge, something breaks down and rather than wait for it to come from China or come from somewhere else, you can just get the design, download it and print it yourself. Um, let's say apart from the car, if you want a bumper bar, which is really just hard plastic these days, they're being printed out on our film, our story, you can see the bumper bar being printed out in Minneapolis in a, uh, what is the, the new assembly line of the future, and it is really just a series of large printers, like large fridges. And depending on what, you, what parts you want to print, they can be you know, a printer this big, which you can put in your back shed, or they can be something you know, this big, as big as a large fridge. But they're there, and it's, uh, it's happening. We've just got to be aware of it.